It's a great pleasure to welcome uh, Dr. Barry White to uh, be the first presenter in this series. Uh, many of you will have known him already from the uh, series on contemplative health that he led uh, the year before last, uh, which um, was, uh, many people around the world found extremely enriching and is is uh, actually our, I think I heard, our uh, most frequently um, uh, viewed uh, series in uh, the WCCM Plus uh, library. Um, Barry White is a, a physician from Ireland. He's a specialist in hematology and has held senior leadership roles within the Irish Health Service. I was privileged to assist him in uh, presenting meditation to the um, health professionals through the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland some years ago. Um, he's conducted clinical research, uh, demonstrating the psychological and the physical benefits of meditation for healthcare staff. And uh, his, his uh, development of, of, a, of, a, of a model of health in which meditation plays a central, but of course not an exclusive part, uh, has continued to grow. And I think uh, he will share with us this evening some of the new insights uh, that he has come to. So Barry, a very warm welcome. And everybody and everybody around the world is uh, welcoming you very warmly. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. And good, e good evening, everybody. Leo, is, is that my sound okay? It's good? It's okay, yes. So what is metanoia? Metanoia is recognizing the path. Metanoia is traveling along the path with a commitment that is not less than everything. Every thought, every word, every action, every moment. Metanoia is traveling the path with a sense of urgency and an appreciation that time is limited. So metanoia is recognizing the path. Metanoia is traveling the path as best we can with a sense of commitment that is not less than everything. Every thought, every word, every action, every moment. And metanoia is traveling the path knowing that time is limited. So what is the path? So the path has different names from different traditions. The Tao, the Dharma, Kingdom of God, the Law of the Prophets, Enlightenment, the Good Life. We could also call the path, the path of healing, the path of self-healing. So maybe just to reflect a little bit on what we mean by healing. Well, there's two approaches to that word, health and healing. The first approach is to think of the scientific approach to health and healing, the technical treatments that we can use. 
which are really good and have just exploded in 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 what we can use over the last 30 40 years a true golden age in scientific exploration from a healthcare perspective and we definitely want those things so that's the chemotherapy or the surgery or the radiotherapy or the antibiotics or the cognitive behavioral therapy all the things that help us when our mind and body is sick and we've got an illness now the rate of progress of those developments has been so great in fact that that despite the fact that we've still made amazing progress and amazing benefits and increases in life expectancy the rate of progress has generated a level of complexity which when when it lands within a healthcare system causes us problems so for example it causes us problems around safety because there's instead of just being one doctor looking after you there's tens of different specialists instead of just one diagnosis we've thousands instead of a small number of treatments we've hundreds of different treatments that can be given now that complexity causes real challenge and we are it's only playing out at the moment how we manage that and the rate of progress is so much faster than we can cope with in many ways so that leads to challenges again across the four domains of how we deliver healthcare. That's quality and safety, patient experience and waiting times, uh, affordability and wastefulness in healthcare, and burnout amongst staff. And while there's technical solutions to solve all those things, one of the key problems we have in executing those solutions is that as healthcare professionals, we get distracted by all the complexity. So it's hard for us to draw down those solutions. So I believe that meditation offers us a key foundational practice to enhance awareness. And with our awareness enhanced, it's easier for us to, to draw down and utilize the technical solutions to improve the different domains of healthcare and to decrease burnout. And one of the things that we did in a, in a study we conducted in the emergency department is teach emergency department staff the practice of meditation. And when we did that, we had a reduction in burnout as an example. We had other physiological benefits like improvement in sleep and improvement in immune function, etc. So ideally, we need to rest all those technical developments in healthcare on a bed of enhanced awareness. And you don't need to be you know much about healthcare to realize that if you're who is it better to see as a patient, a distracted physician. Or a, or a physician with an enhanced level of awareness and quality of attention. How much better is that going to be as an experience? How much safer is that going to be? So that's one dimension to our understanding of health and healing. And then there's another dimension, which is we might call deep health or deep healing. And this is the type of healing that we can experience when we're well, in other words, in the absence of a disease. When we're sick and the treatment is working. When we're sick and the treatments aren't working. When there's no further treatment available to us and even at the point of death. And all of us have, well, a lot of us, I should say, will have experienced that in people in, in their lives or and as they're approaching death that sense of healing and perhaps that sense of healing is something that humanity has been pursuing and interested in from the dawn of consciousness 
And it's difficult to put words into this experience, but if we were to use words, the words we would use would be peace, a reduction in anxiety, but not an elimination of it, a reduction in selfish desire, a sense of unity and community, and a shift in the level of awareness or consciousness so that we see things differently. <laughs> 